Hello everyone, my name is Stacy. I'm with the St. Mary Parish Library and today I'm going to read you a book about a sunflower and it's called To Be Like the Sun. My hole breaks apart the clods of brown earth but you do the real work down in the dark. Not reddish work or pumpkin, not thistle work, sunflower work. All the instructions are written on your heart. I hear the rain chattering to all the seeds on the ground. Are you listening? I can't hear you say anything back. Sunflower, when you found your way out of the ground, you looked hard at the sun. You made roots and leaves, then stem. More leaves, more roots, stem. Then a bud, like hands, closed tight around a treasure. The days keep getting longer and greener and hotter. I drag along holes across the grass so you can drink. Now you've made your own sun up over my head. The whole world wants to be golden like you, sunflower, to rest in cool air at sunset, listening to cricket songs. Looking at the place where the sun goes down, thinking about the sun, even when it's gone away. All these seeds, are you tired of holding them up? What makes them so heavy? Is it light caught inside? There are so many more than all the days of summer. The wind rattles in the garden, tattling old leaves and stems. Cold wind rocks our bird feeder, filled with seeds, striped gray sunflower seeds. So she grew all these seeds for the birds. Sunflower, we take the snapshot of you to our refrigerator. Your picture is smaller than my hand. And a sunflower seed is smaller than a word. But I remember you were taller than everyone. When the winter sky shivers with icy stars, I remember how hard you work to be like the sun. Since we've read the book, To Be Like the Sun, and it was all about a beautiful sunflower, how about we create our own beautiful sunflower? I have two examples right here. And you can make them how big or how small you would like. Okay? So for this craft, here's what we need. A brown piece of construction paper, a green piece of construction paper, yellow and white. Also, we need glue. I used a cup to make my circles, scissors, and a pencil. So let's get started. First of all, I use this cup to make my circles. So on this page, my yellow page, I made nine circles on my page. I did nine circles on my whole page, okay? Nine yellow circles, and that's gonna make the petals of your sunflower. Then, I took my green paper and I made one circle, because this will become the leaf on the stem of your sunflower and also I use this part to make my stem. On the brown piece I only use I only made one circle because this is the middle of your sunflower. Okay? And on the white piece of construction paper is where I glued everything. So let's get started. After you cut out all your pieces
You take your petals, each petal, and you just fold it in. Like so. Doesn't have to be perfect. You can make your petals or your circles as large as you want it to, the way I showed you earlier with the different sizes of the sunflowers, okay? You might wanna make them, make these petals real big, or you may wanna make it even smaller, but it's your choice. But for this particular circle that I cut out, I only needed nine petals around. So that's what I did. And for the leaf of my stem, I just took my green circle and I bent it in half. And I cut it. Because later on, that's going to be our leaf. Okay, let's get started. All right, so the first thing I did was glue the center of my sunflower to the page. Okay? And then I just proceeded to glue the petals to the middle. Well, this is what I did. I just put my glue on my circle, like around the edges, and I just stuck my petals to the middle of my page. If your petals don't fit, just work them in like so. Like that. So, then I took my green paper and I didn't want, I don't want the stem this wide. So I just fold it in half. And I cut it. Okay. Take it, put a little glue. And I just stick it under there. Okay. See how mine is too long? So I just take it, cut it off, and I put some more glue on it, like so. Okay. Then I take my leaves and I just stick them on each side, which these are a little too big. So I'll just take it, cut it in half. Each side, I'll put that like that. And there it is, my cute little sunflower to go with my story. Thank you all for joining me for this beautiful craft. I hope you enjoy making it. Have a nice day. See you next time.